remember at the time I lost everything. This is Phil, Managing Director of Retail Branches at Bank de Chance for over five years. He's a big picture person, ignoring the nitty gritty. When the FCA imposed a hefty fine on a competitor, Phil was tickled. Their retail banking division had been caught using aggressive sales tactics to persuade customers to switch accounts, misleading them about potential benefits. After his competitive smugness subsided, Phil started to worry that similar things might be happening at his bank. After all, he didn't really have a good grip on its day-to-day -day activities. Phil decided to delegate a review of the bank's sales tactics. He gave the responsibility to a new member of his senior management team, Jim. Jim had no prior experience of retail banking or treating customer fairly issues, but he was keen to help, despite having already been given lots of other responsibilities in his first month. But being stretched was the department norm, so he didn't think to question it. Jim had told Phil that he would do his best. But boy, did he struggle. Especially as Phil was never around to discuss issues and answer questions at their weekly catch-up. Phil always had to cancel or postpone with some excuse or other. Jim put a team in place to help him complete the review. However, its scope was too limited and it failed to identify the high level of account switching which had occurred in the past year. It also didn't identify that sales staff were being heavily incentivized for getting customers to switch accounts. And the language being used was overly aggressive and very misleading. So the final report turned out to be inadequate and provided false assurances. Months later, a wave of customer complaints uncovered the oversight. Phil was surprised Jim hadn't spotted this problem. But he didn't think he'd be in any serious trouble with the regulator. Jim was an approved person and it was his mistake. Jim would be the one to face the music. Wrong. Even though the FCA did take action against Jim, it concluded that Phil had not properly delegated or supervised the review and was also personally responsible. Phil was fined £120,000 and banned from holding similar senior management roles in the future. The bank was given a £3 million fine and forced to carry out an extensive customer redress program. Poor delegation and supervision is a ticking time bomb. There are four things he should have done differently. One, delegate it to an individual who had the time, resource, skills and experience. Two, ensure that he received regular updates of the progress of the review. Three, carefully review the final report and robustly challenge the scope, findings and conclusions. Four, ensured that any recommendations and action points from the review were fully and appropriately implemented. Effective delegation and supervision is critical. Don't become a cautionary tale.